Hello! Today we're going to look at how to configure the Toby Eye Tracker to work correctly with Microsoft Flight Simulator. This isn't a complete solution because the simulator still doesn't have a configuration interface for the Toby Eye Tracker, but we'll work through that. So, a bit of a story here. When the simulator was first launched, you couldn't even get to the configuration panel for the Toby Eye Tracker. It crashed to desktop instantly. In the first update, to Flight Simulator 2024. They stopped that crash from happening, but if we go and have a look and go into Settings and Controls and click on the Toby, because it's connected to the PC, and go to Hardware Settings, it actually hasn't got a configuration interface, which is a bit of a problem. So, what can we do about that? Well, it turns out actually we can do something about it, but before we do that, in order for the simulator to see Toby, you're going to need to go and stop the simulator seeing OpenTrack. Okay, and the reason for that is lots of people found a workaround that Toby actually advertised themselves in their Discord server to use OpenTrack as a workaround because the OpenTrack software obviously sits outside of the simulator and lets you configure the mapping and of your axes and the configuration so it kind of takes it out of the simulator's hands. Unfortunately, if you are using OpenTrack, it will take precedence over the Toby software. Yeah, so you need to go and disable it. So there are two ways or two places to go look. If we open a file explorer window, without actually removing open track from the computer we can either go to C drive program files this is my installation you may have installed it somewhere else open track and within the open track installation folder there's a modules subdirectory and within there there's a file called npclient64.dll uh, you can see I have renamed it which stops flight simulator seeing it so what's actually going on here? If we go and look in the registry of Windows, when you install OpenTrack, it puts this path in this registry key. So let's go and look and see where this is. So it's in H key users, and then the user with the long name, and then in software, natural point, natural point subdirectory, and then inside there, there's NP client location. And inside there, that is the path to your modules directory. So I think what's going on here is Flight Simulator has a list of known hardware that it looks for. And if it finds a natural point entry in the registry, it goes and looks for that DLL in that path and loads it. And it will use that in precedence over the Toby one. So if it's there, it will ignore the Toby drivers, okay? Or the Toby device, I should say. So you can either remove this registry key or point it somewhere else or just rename the file that Flight Simulator goes and looks for which is npclient64.dll So I've just put temp in its name. So having done that, when you restart the simulator the telltale will be when you look in settings it no longer says track IR in the controls that are connected because it calls the open track track IR okay so you can see it's gone so we're good I've got the Toby plugged in and it's here so how do we go and change the configuration of the Toby without having an interface for it this is the trick because if you'll have noticed when you plug the Toby eye tracker into 2024 you only get eye tracking and that's because that's what the default profile has so you can see for the, when you have Toby selected, it only has one profile under the general section. So remember, general profiles control views, and that's what the Toby does. So what you can do is duplicate your profile. So we're going to duplicate the profile, and we'll call it um, my custom Toby profile. Okay. Now, I'm not going to apply it to all aircraft. You probably do want to because I've already done this. I've already got another profile I'm not showing you yet where I've already done all of this work. And we're going to say OK. So we've duplicated the default one. OK. What you can then do 
you would you would shut your simulator down. I'm not going to just to save time to show you this. You will then go and open your file explorer window. You will go to the installation directory of Flight Simulator, which I've got a, a shortcut to it. Now this will vary depending on where you've installed it. So mine is in my App Data Local Packages Microsoft Limitless folder. And inside here, there's a System App Data folder. So if you go and look in there, and then you go in the w WGS subfolder, and then you go in the folder with a big name, and then you put these in reverse date modified order. So you can see there was one there I altered a minute ago. So if I go in there, and there's a file with a big name, and I right click on it, and I open this with Notepad. Look at the name in the file, my custom Toby profile. So let's make this bigger. Those are the axis mappings that the Toby has out of the box. That's a copy of the default profile, essentially. So it has these numbers in it. We're going to change them. Now, I've written up a blog post, and I'm going to link it in the video, and I'm going to put this video in the blog post as well. So we are going to go and grab this set of configuration parameters, and copy them, and paste them over the top. And obviously, I need to go. Actually, this is XML. It will take no notice of the spaces, but we can tidy this up if we want to be super tidy about everything just so they're all aligned because it will help me discuss something about it as well okay so what do they mean the community has already figured out what a couple of the axes are so axis number one is eye tracking so by set setting its sensitivity to zero you are telling it not to use eye tracking. Axis number six appears to be the Z axis, or you moving backwards and forwards. By setting it to 100, you're essentially saying, take notice of my position closer or further away from the monitor. Okay, the rest, who knows? But again, eventually, this is how the configuration panel, when it is put into the simulator, it will be, it will be changing these numbers. So having changed that, you can start your simulator up again. Yeah, so you save that file and then start your simulator up again. So then when you get back to your simulator, you can come in here, and I'm going to change this to one I've made earlier in true children's television fashion. So I've got one called General Toby, which I've set across all of my airplanes, which has the right settings in it. So save and back, and back. And now if I press Alt and 7 to turn my head tracking on, I have perfect head tracking. Okay, so if I press Shift and C, I come inside the cockpit and press Alt and 8 to center it up. You will notice it's slightly off to the left all the time. Again, that's probably something to do with the configuration. I don't think we can fix that. But you can always just use Shift and L a little bit to to tip your head a little bit to the right or shift and J a little bit to the left just to get it right. But yeah, we've suddenly got absolutely rock steady head tracking using the Toby as it's designed. We just don't have a con uh, configuration interface for it. So as I said, I've written all of this up in a blog post, which I'm about to publish as soon as I've done this video, so I can link to each from the other. So it tells you how to remove open track and how to configure the Toby, so all the steps to go through. Okay, hopefully this is useful to others, and it's going to absolutely transform Flight Simulator 2024 for me because the Toby is the Toby Eye Tracker is fantastic. It has to be said, and so yeah, we just have to wait now for them to put the the configuration panel for it into the simulator. But in the meantime, we can at least use this hack to work around it. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Take care.